Good morning, everyone. Um, I thought I'd come on live today, um, basically, because I'm trying to reconnect with a lot of my old friends, um, people that I used to live close to in Exmouth. Um, and since moving to Exeter, I've lost contact with a lot of people. So I've been trying to reconnect with friends. Um, and a lot of you probably won't even accept my friend requests um, for the simple reason. Um, I've always been this really angry, um, down on life person. And uh, I want to show you all that I am trying to achieve a better focus in my life. Um, I've been suffering a lot of um, ill health over the last three, four years. Um, and I've just sat there thinking, oh, God, I can't cope with life. Why is this happening to me? Um, and I've got nowhere by, by doing those things. So um, seven, eight, no, no, it must be nine weeks ago now, I had a hysterectomy and I couldn't even do my housework for like six weeks. Um, and I was just sitting there getting in right downer and thinking, oh, for goodness sake, I don't want to live anymore. I'm fed up with the way I'm feeling. And then a best mate of mine came online and, um, and offered me this brilliant opportunity. Um, and at first, to be honest, when she said about it, I thought, oh, no, I can't do that. Shush, Holly. Stupid dog, look. Shut up. Yeah, so uh, instead of think. Uh, Feeling, I thought, fought for a couple of days. I thought, mm, I don't think I can do that. I'm not confident enough. Um, and then after a few days, I thought, oh, sod it. She's, I like makeup, so I'm going to um, purchase the the starter kit. So I went ahead and done that. Um, and when I got the... Hi, Margaret. Hi, Ashley. When I got the starter kit, um, I started playing around with makeup, going on YouTube, learning how to put the makeup on and stuff. And I found I was really enjoying it. Um, and, you know, I was posting photos and people were asking what I was wearing and stuff like that. So I thought, hmm, maybe I should try and be a presenter. Um, and, you know, I've, I've never had a proper career in my life. I've never had a job that I've really enjoyed. So let's go for it. So I took the plunge and eight weeks down the line, I've become um, a more confident person. I'm be trying to become more positive. Um, I'm less angry, uh, although yesterday, yes, I do still make mistakes. I got involved in something that was... My daughter got upset. I got involved in one of her silly arguments with her friends, um, thinking I was protecting my daughter. And really, I was just... I ended up embarrassing her. Um, so, you know, I had a good think about it last night, and I thought, you've got to stop doing this, Tracy. You know, stop being that angry person. So um, to those who actually saw what was happening yesterday, I really want to apologise. Um, it was pathetic. Um, for someone of my age, it's, it's stupid. Do you know what I mean? And I apologise for all my actions yesterday, and I'll try and learn from these things. Um, but instead of um, getting down on it and just getting more angry, I'd done some meditation last night. Um, like positivity meditation before I went to sleep. I've got up this morning and set my goals for the week, written them all down, um, started on my tasks and everything, made that my first thing that I'd done today was to, you know, uh, you know, do all my goals that, that and, and plan everything for my day. And um, now I, I just want to say that this opportunity that I'm doing, I, I'm going to... I'm starting to be a presenter for Unique. A lot of people know that. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. Um, um, it's not all about the money. Um, at first, it was like I was getting down because I wasn't making any money, but it's not all about the money. Um, I've realised, having my Perfectly Pretty with Tracy page, putting up lives and showing people demos of how I apply my makeup, I'm getting so much positive feedback from it, and I'm making other people happy. And this job is about making others happy and becoming more confident and positive in life. And, and doing what I'm doing is actually doing that for others. It's not just for me, it's for others. Um, and I really, I really am enjoying what I'm doing. I love makeup. I'm getting free products, you know, for, from doing what I'm doing, which is a big bonus, because every time I get a delivery, it's like having another birthday, you know? I get so excited over having my deliveries. Um, 
And I just wanted to share with people that, you know, that I've, I've recently re-added onto my friends list. Yeah, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I have been that bitter, angry person for a lot of my life. I'm 46 now and I need to change this. And if I'm to succeed in what I'm doing, I've got to change my outlook in life and how I act. And, you know, I am trying to do so. And I really appreciate you watching me this morning. Um, and it, if you want to share my video, um, I want to get it out there that I am trying to be different. Um, I want to be a happier person. Um, I want to achieve my goals. Um, I want to be able to, when my children ring me up and they're short of money, be able to say, yeah, yeah, I'll pass, you know, I'll transfer you some money to help you out. You know, I, I want to do this, not just for me, but for my family. I want to be able to go on holidays and, and just be comfortable in life. Not be rich, just be comfortable. Um, and I just want you all out there to know that I am changing. I am trying my best, my hardest to change. And if any of you see any posts that where I'm being a stupid, negative idiot, bloody tell me, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it hurts. Um, it's like three years ago I decided to lose weight. Um, the only reason that happened is um, I was diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I was getting a lot of pain. Um, when I saw my doctor, he blatantly told me, well, if you want it to change, you've got to lose weight. Yeah, that was hard when he told me that. I was like, whoa, how dare you say that to me? But I worked on losing my weight, and three years down the line, I've lost two and a half stone. Um, I'm aiming for a three stone mark, so I'm still trying. Yeah, I, I, I do still eat the odd thing that I shouldn't, but when when the scales go up, I'm like, hmm, better not, you know, get back on track. So I achieved that, and now my I want to achieve having a successful business, um, having friends, um, and just having a generally happier life. Hi, Julia, how are you? Um, and it's thanks to Julia that I'm doing this right now. If she hadn't introduced me to it, uh, I'd still be sat there stuck in a rut, like, oh, I hate my life, um, and just not doing anything about it. So I suppose... The moral of the story today is if you've got a goal in life, you can do it. You've got to work at it and it's not going to be easy, but just go for it, you know. Um, don't just sit there thinking, oh, no, I can't do that. I, I'm never going to be able to do that. I'm never going to be successful. I've done that for, like, most of my life. I'm 46 now, for goodness sake, um, and it's got to change. And um, I'm trying really hard. Over this last eight weeks, I've had ups, downs. It's like, you know, and I, I've been quite negative at times. Oh, I'm not doing this anymore. But the next day, the different me gets up and thinks, no, come on, get yourself out of this and do something about it. So this is what I'm doing. And this is the, the reason why I've done this live today is just to show you all that in life, if you don't work at stuff, it's not just going to fall in your lap. Do you know what I mean? You've got to work at it. Um, and I, I'm i trying my best, and I really appreciate all the help and support that people give me. Um, please share my video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.